Hello, I'm Rachel Clapp Miller with Force Management. Thank you for joining me for this conversation on implementing sales initiatives. I'm joined now by Keegan Riley, the Chief Revenue Officer at Systeg. Hi, Keegan. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Rachel. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Let's just start with a quick overview of what Systeg does for its customers. Yeah, absolutely. So um, Systeg is a, a startup in the cybersecurity space. Um, we are focused on uh, sort of a new category uh, that we call container and cloud security. Um, so we're, we exist because there's a massive platform shift that's happening in terms of how uh, applications are built. Um, and this shift is basically from sort of an on-prem world to a cloud world. Um, and there's an open source technology called Kubernetes that has become the de facto operating system of the cloud. Kubernetes is a project that came out of Google. Um, it basically is a container orchestration platform. Uh, so without, you know, I'll spare you going deep into the weeds about how it works. The point of it is, whereas you used to have this waterfall approach to application development where you had a, you know, a build phase, a test phase, a production phase, and, you know, version one came out and then 18 months later, version two came out. The way applications are built today is... Um, in a continuous uh, kind of a CI, CD, agile, uh, DevOps uh, um, uh, methodology, which breaks applications up into what's called microservices so that one part of the application, you know, could be updated every 18 months like you did before, but another part of the application might be updated 10 times a day. And the developer that's responsible for that piece of code might be working on it in a computer in an office, or they might be on a laptop in Starbucks, right? And so the, the way you have to think about security shifts from sort of four walls around a herd of cows to, you know, securing locusts that are everywhere. And so legacy tooling breaks, hence the need for new security tools. So Sysdig is the leader in cloud and container security. Um, we also do uh, vis observability, visibility, monitoring, troubleshooting, incident response, forensics, threat detection, and all kinds of other things that DevSecOps teams need to do their job and to confidently run applications in the cloud. Yeah, some really critical problems that you're solving for customers, obviously bringing a lot of value. And I know you brought in two of Force Management's programs, Command of the Message and MedPIC, yep. both focus on alignment, Command of the Message, helping your teams articulate that value and differentiation, MedPIC with qualifying deals. Would like to talk a little bit about your before scenario. I know you had some great salespeople on board, but needed to pull together some best practices, get them focused on value. Talk a little bit about the challenges that you were having and why you brought in those programs. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, MedPIC, I'll start start with MedPIC. You know, I come from, uh, I, I sort of grew up in sales in the data storage industry. And uh, my first job in that industry was at EMC Corporation. And, uh, you know, they're kind of the, the tree of, uh, of, of medic as a qualification tool uh, runs pretty strongly through EMC. There was a guy called John Hanlon that came from PTC and implemented medic. So that's been in my DNA since I was, you know, my, in my first year of enterprise sales. And so we've always kind of used it at Sysdig. Um, but we had a lot of people that came from diverse backgrounds that didn't understand it real deeply. And so we needed uh, we needed some help in implementing that in a more meaningful way. Um, command of the message where that comes into play, you know, um, I mentioned I came from data storage. In data storage, uh, you know, especially in kind of the post flash world, um, the buyer's journey was was uh, because it's a mature market, the buyers tended to do 85% of their own research. It was a pretty well understood purchase. Most companies have a defined budget for data storage and they engage with a vendor for that last 15% of the journey where they want to talk about price per gig and you know do a bake off with three vendors what have you in this space because it's such a new it, you know it, we're not just a new product we're a completely new space there you know kubernetes didn't exist 7 years ago and so container security you know is not a line item in most people's budgets um save for the last year where it really has become um, a, a really hot space. But for the first year that I was here, and I've been here for about three years now, 
we saw a lot of uh, educational POVs, I'll, I'll call them, right? Where the customers get 15% down the road of their journey and they're like, I need help. I need expertise around how to think about securing cloud and, and containers. I'll go talk to Sysdig. We'll bring in the tech. We'll ask them a bunch of questions. We'll get educated. And we were seeing a lot of you know nine-month POVs that ended in no decision, which is the bane of every sales leader's existence, right? No doubt. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I would much rather you know I, I want to run a race and and get a yes or a no. A, a nine month maybe is a really bad thing when you're trying to scale a business. Um, and so what we found is you know a lot of our we're, our our buyers are very technical, our sellers are very technical. We're passionate about technology. You know, we have an open source foundation. And so, you know, we enjoy geeking out. And, and so we're very quick uh, in our in our before state. We were very quick if the customer was saying, hey, show me the user interface, you know, drop the keyboard and let's get into a demo. We were happy to do it. We're like, yes, awesome. We have great tech. Let me show you how you can actually look at the ASCII code and see how somebody came in and then shredded their footprints and blah, 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 blah. Like we wanted to talk about the tech. And that's great. Um, but you know, when it would come time to commit a deal or not, it was sort of like, well, they love our tech. Okay, well, who's our champion? And what pain are we solving? They love our tech. <laughs> and so, you know, that's sort of why we brought in command of the message. And, um, and that's sort of the, the, the issue we were trying to solve. We needed to, we still want to be evangelical and educate customers. But we really, you know, we're growing up, we're becoming a fairly big company. And, uh, and we need to be able to have predictability in the business and make good decisions about where to make investment. Yeah, I mean, that the combination of making that technical sale with the business sale is critically important. And I know a common challenge with a lot of growing companies who have, who have great technology. So you weren't unique there. But I'd, I'd also like to hear, so you implemented these programs. What were some of those positive business outcomes that you were able to achieve by getting those going? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I I love using the command of the message framework to talk about us as the customer, right? Because it's so familiar to us. You know, the positive business outcomes that we were looking for, we wanted to improve our conversion rate, right? We wanted to to, to win more of the at bats that we had. Um, we wanted higher quality at bats, so we knew where to spend our time. We obviously, you know, we're we're in hyper growth mode as a startup, so we needed to, you know, more than double revenue. So we needed to grow top line, um, and uh, and and we needed to uh, improve time to productivity for our teams. What we were seeing in the before state was it wasn't uncommon for it to take a full year for a rep to get productive because it's hard, right? It's it's deeply technical. It's a new space. There's not a ton of people that, you know, we used to joke that we should post a job rec and say, must have 12 years of Kubernetes experience just to see if anyone applied, you know, for a tech that is essentially brand new. Um, so time to productivity was another big um, uh, metric that we were looking for. Right. And and you were able to achieve a lot of those successes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, um, in some ways, uh, you know, this global pandemic, you know, I, I it, it uh, sometimes I feel a bit guilty saying this, but in some ways it was wind in our sails because all these digital transformation projects were funded. So I think that was also a part of it. I think um, we got somewhat lucky in in the timing of uh, the market inflecting. But in the twelve months since we've implemented Command of the Message, we have. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll share specific metrics with you because we're pretty maniacal in, in how we track things. Our conversion rate prior to COM was south of 15%, uh, S2s to, to revenue. Our conversion rate in Q4 was 38%. Wow. So more than more than doubled our, our conversion rate. And to convert 38% is, uh, is I've never seen that before in, in even mature markets. So, um, uh, and our, our ramp time for our reps that have joined is down to uh, roughly two quarters. We're, we're getting folks productive very quickly. That's right. So that's almost cut in half if the original ramp time was about a year. That's right. Yeah. So let's talk about the work that you did to achieve those great outcomes. What do you think was the most impactful? Was it combining the methodologies? Was it the alignment from your company? What, what do you think had the most impact? 
Yeah, I think, you know, the, the most critical thing for us is it forced alignment um, in terms of how we think about the conversation with our customers. Um, we're very diligent at Sysdig in thinking about our culture. Um, and we've got three statements that, that we live by, the first of which is love our customers. So we've always put the customer at the center of everything that we've done as a company from a product development standpoint to a go-to-market strategy, so on and so forth. But I think the, the alignment that Command of the Message drove is we needed to put the customer at the center of uh, the, the process of uh, discovery in our sales campaigns. So we needed to think about loving our customers even before they were customers, right? And so what it forced us to do was to not drop the keyboard so quickly, to pause and say, listen, you know, I, I, I want to talk about what we do, but first I want to talk about what you need. What are the positive business outcomes that you're looking to achieve in your business? What are the required capabilities to get there? Uh, what are the negative consequences if you do nothing? What are the, you know, and, and what are the metrics that you're going to use to track success? I want to understand that about you. And then, you know, if we're lucky enough to earn your business, we're going to know where the goal line is here together. And just that simple realignment to one of our core values has been massively powerful. Um, and our customer success team has seen this, right? After we hand off our, our customers, we have a deep understanding of what they're trying to accomplish and we're better at making them successful. So, you know, one of the other metrics that I should have cited, our net retention revenue and our gross retention revenue have skyrocketed over the last 12 months because we're better at making our customers successful at their projects because we understand their actual pain. It's not just, hey, we've got this cool widget. You bought it. Good luck with that. Yeah, it's, it's great that you bring that up because I know that that was one of the things that Sysdig did when you were implementing this engagement is to run your customer success team through it. I'd love to hear more about why you thought that was important. Clearly, it paid some benefits, but talk a little bit about the value of having that team go through this program. Yeah, absolutely. So our, our customer success organization, um, we've got a, we, have, we have a great leader, a guy that I've worked with uh, for a long time, Paris George Alice. Um, who uh, over the last 18 to 24 months has really transformed that organization um, into uh, a team of highly trained technical ninjas. And so, and, and which is what we need to do because like, as I mentioned, highly technical product, you know, it's, we're not displacing incumbents. In most cases, we're, these are design wins in large accounts. Our, our revenue is very focused in the global 2000 and the, um, the initial purchase tends to be um, just the tip of the iceberg. So we, you know, as I mentioned, our, our NRR is off the charts, great. And so the importance of getting customer success aligned with the command of the message methodology, we don't miss a beat, right? There's not that, and it goes back to loving our customers. You don't want a customer to feel the love when they're a prospect, give you a PO and then be like, where'd everybody go? <laughs> right. you, you sold right. me the dream and now I'm on my own to implement this stuff that's highly technical. You don't want that to happen. So what we do when, when prospects become customers, we do handoff calls with our technical account managers and our customer success team, and they speak the same language. So they understand what the PBOs are. They understand what the required capabilities are. They understand the metrics that the customer and us are jointly going to use to measure success of the project. And, uh, and, and they help them implement and onboard and become successful. And when that happens, you know, it's, it's not, I mean, yes, we do that because we love our customers, but it's not purely altruistic. We're also trying to grow our revenue in these large accounts. And so it's not uncommon. You know, I'll, I'll give you a, a specific example without naming the customer. We had a Fortune 500, uh, actually a Fortune 100 account that, that joined us in Q3 of last year. Um, the, oh, the initial purchase order was about a $50,000 ARR deal. And it was, you know, they, they were making a design decision. Our buyer was the VP of cloud security. They were choosing a vendor for um, container and cloud security for both. They wanted to converge it. They had never done this before. And so it's a, you know, kind of a, an extensive POV process. It was a long sales cycle. Um, and we were lucky enough to earn their business. We did the onboarding, the implementation, the handoff call with the technical account manager, started the process of scheduling monthly calls within one quarter they had expanded three times. We had three more POs by the end of the year 
And wow. they ended the year as uh, about a $750,000 ARR account. That pace of expansion is unprecedented, right? In an account of that size that's just implementing this platform for the first time, it's because we were so aligned as a company and we truly helped them achieve their positive business outcomes. Good for them, good for us. Project is off to a fast start and their journey to the cloud has been accelerated and they're doing it securely and with confidence because of what Sysdig's been able to do. That's great. What a great proof point for alignment. And we write a lot about the power of alignment and sometimes it can seem just like a pipe dream out there, but that's a really good testament to what alignment can do for yep. your revenue. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh. So I know that you, that COVID hit during part of this engagement and I'd, I'd love to hear you just talk a little bit about how these programs helped you under those circumstances and then how they've set you up to reach what I know you um, have our aggressive growth goals. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I, you know, again, I, I, uh, I, I think sometimes uh, being lucky is better than being good. You know, we implemented <laughs> command of the message. Our, our sales kickoff was the second week of February, 2020. Okay. I mean, we got it in right before everything <laughs> shut down. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's just, just kind of lucky on our part, but uh, we'll take it. Right. And so I think when things shut down in such a uh, dramatic and violent fashion, um, you know, we're, we're a pretty remote friendly organization, highly distributed um, with, with employees in, in, you know, dozens of, of countries. And so we're used to working on Zoom, but I think the biggest shift that we had to make um, was becoming much more asynchronous in how we engaged with one another, right? It became less feasible uh, to, to schedule forecast calls in local time zones, to have QBRs where everybody flew in and got together and talked about their deals and so on and so forth. We really had to start relying on, uh, on Salesforce, on our CRM tools, and on asynchronous communication about deals. And uh, uh, Command of the Message and MedPick gave us that common language and that framework so that you know, I didn't have to have a QBR with my teams in, in person to understand the business. I could just go to Salesforce and read the mantra about a deal and read the med pick and talk about the PBO. And, you know, it was all, it was beautiful. It was this common language that really enabled us um, to, to not miss a beat and remain very, very productive, even though we can't get together in person and, and everything is shut down. That's great. And I, and I can imagine, right. That's, that's what every sales leader wants with COVID or without it to be able to look and, and know where you're at uh, by looking at the, the CRM. So I'm yep. sure that that's um, set you up for success here now moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned your, your own sales career at the top of our conversation. I'm sure that uh, you've had your uh, fair share of sales training engagements as, as many of us had. I'm curious um, what, your opinion on what makes these different from others. Yeah, it's a great question because uh, there are, I think, roughly 2,722 sales methodologies floating around there. And, uh, and I think uh, 1,900 of them send me emails on a weekly basis, you know, soliciting. And we did look at other programs and um, we looked at other, other, other folks. Um, I think the biggest thing for me and the reason that, that we selected uh, force management and command of the message over some of the other vendors is because I think a lot of people think that um, training and methodology is is an event. Um, and I think force treats it like a process, right? And what I mean by that is, yeah, we had this initial intense training at SKO last year where we were fully immersed in it. You know, we had pre-work and we had some long days and a lot of role playing and things like that. Uh, but that wasn't the end of the journey. It was the beginning of the journey. And then we went into command center, right? And, and we had ongoing training and we had a great relationship with force and checkpoints and regular conversations about how we were doing on uh, our, our progress towards our desired outcome. And so it, it, it really, over the 12 months, um, it's, it's been a, a process that has helped us establish new habits, in how we uh, think about our engagement with our customers, both pre and post sales. That to me is the biggest difference and what makes uh, Force stand out. That's great. Thank you for that. Was it worth the investment? 
<laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. The, uh, the, the ROI is very clear. <laughs> right. Anything you want to say as a final thought as we wrap up here, Keegan? You know, I think, I mean, the, the final comment that I would make, um, I mentioned earlier that, that Sysdig is very mindful of, of culture um, and, and how we engage with other folks. I mentioned love our customers is, is one of our key tenants. The other two are trust in the team. And we believe that we've got to hire people that are trustworthy and are willing to do the work to earn other people's trust. And the third is dig deeper, which is all about uh, having a quality of uh, feeling very passionate about what we're doing and having the ability to persevere over long periods of time, even through adversity. And so when, when you hire people through the lens of alignment with those values, you prefer to do business with other folks uh, who see the world the same way. And I think the other thing that we found with, with Force is uh, the, f- the, the people there um, are great to work with. They, they are, you know, passionate about making their customers better. Uh, they, you know, they are willing to persevere even when when things get tough. And and we really appreciate that. And and we trust them as a vendor um, in the same way that we we trust our teammates. So when you find uh, a business partner um, that uh, that feels like that, you know, it's a joy to do more with them. And uh, so we appreciate everybody at Force Management, and and we love Command of the Message. Oh, that's, that's great. Thank you so much for saying that. I know the project team loves Sysdig and I appreciate your time and for letting us share in the great success you've had there. Absolutely. It's a great partnership. Thank you very much. Great. And all of you uh, watching, listening out there, stay focused on Sysdig. They're doing some great things.